When you're building your application, you're naturally going to want to protect against cross-site request forgery attacks. And it can get pretty annoying to have to implement this. But what we're going to be looking at here is doing this really easily within Slim 2 uh, with the inclusion of middleware. So we're going to be building middleware that's going to generate a token, which will then be available in our views, which we can then use within a form. And whenever we submit that form, the request will automatically be checked. So as long as you have it included in your form, our middleware will pick that up. It will compare the two tokens. And then if they fail, we'll throw an exception. So it's pretty straightforward um, and a really easy way to just be able to forget about having to check this on every one of your routes. So we'll take a quick look at how this works and we'll go on to write the code that's going to make this possible. So you can see here I have a form with uh, uh, just a drop down here. We can select one of these options and hit buy this now. Uh, and all we get is just a sort of fake message. You just bought a product. Obviously, like all other forms, this is uh, susceptible to cross site request forgery attacks if we don't protect against it. But inside of this form, you'll see I have a hidden input here. Uh, the name of this is uh, cross site request forgery token, so CSRF token. And then we have uh, an SH1 hash just here, which we'll be generating a bit later. So obviously, when I go ahead and submit this, everything's gone well. Uh, but if an attack was in place, and this was completely different. So I've just removed part of that hash and I hit buy this now. Uh, you see we get an exception thrown and the message here is CSR CSRF token mismatch. So that's gonna, going to protect you. So we'll move on now just to look at the application structure and then we'll jump into writing this middleware. So over in my text editor then, let's take a quick look around my application structure. Yours is likely going to be different, but this is gen generally the way I lay out Slim 2 projects. Um, so let's ignore this uh, folder here for now. Important to note, I am PSR4 auto loading this code course folder here. So this is my sort of vendor name, um, but obviously you might not be, so you might have to manually include the middleware. Uh, I'm also obviously pulling in Slim. I'm pulling in Slim Views as well, which I'm using Twig. So I'm using Twig for my templates. If you're not using Twig, you're going to have to implement this very slightly differently when you include your token, but it shouldn't be too much different. So over then in my roots, I have uh, product buy. So I have this buy route here. And all this does is the uh, get request to this just renders out this products by view. So this is in my views folder just here. And that's just a form. You can see I'm including my token just in here, which we'll look at later. Uh, but when we submit this through, uh, you can see if at request post products, so if the product exists in the post request, we just kill the page. So that's all we're doing there. So in my start file, then this is slightly different. What we're doing here is obviously starting sessions because we need to make use of sessions. So we'll need sessions enabled, uh, just pulling in composers auto loader, uh, creating a new instance of slim with obviously my uh, twig view in there. We're adding our middleware, which is obviously the subject of this video. And then I'm doing things like setting my templates directory and I'm adding parser extensions as well for twig. Uh, so I can use things like URL four, which we can see just here. So most of that shouldn't really matter. What we're going to be focused on is inside of our vendor folder, we have this middleware folder, which contains our middleware. So this is the middleware that we're going to be writing and including into our application. And then all you'll need to do is in any of your forms, just include this line. So regardless of how your application is set up, uh, this should just be easy to implement as we go. So that's enough about the actual application that we're working with. Let's jump straight in and write this middleware. So we're now back in the state with no cross site request forgery protection at all. The form still works as normal, but we aren't protecting uh, this form submission or any other form submissions. So let's create some new middleware. Uh, like I said, I'm PSR for auto loading this. So this will be automatically available to me under the namespace. But if you're not, you can just include that uh, file manually. So under middleware, let's create a new file then. And let's go ahead and call this cross site request forgery middleware.php. And let's start to write our middleware and that we can include that when we create our app instance. 
So let's namespace this. Obviously you don't have to, depending on how you're structuring things, but we're gonna namespace that under code course middleware. The class name is obvious, CSRF middleware. And we need to obviously extend slim middleware. So what we're gonna do now then is choose a name for our session key. This can come from config, so you can load it from any configuration that you're using. But for now, all I'm gonna do is just create this just up here. So I'm gonna call this CSRF token. And we're gonna pass this to our views as well. So when we include it in our form, if we ever up do update this, all of our forms will be updated as well. So we have our call method as part of our slim middleware. And for this, what we're gonna be doing is just hooking on uh, another method, which we'll just create out now. So we're going to be hooking on this method to be uh, run before every request to our application is made. So we'll say this app hook, and we're going to hook it on before every request. And we're calling this object and we're calling the check method. And we obviously have our next call as well for our middleware. So now we can focus on this check method, which is gonna be the bulk of what we're writing. The first thing we need to do is before every request to an application, we need to set a session. And that session is going to contain uh, a fairly random uh, token. Uh, you can obviously choose how to generate this however you want. I'm just gonna be using uh, PHP's SHA1 function. So let's first of all check if that isn't set. So we obviously use our session super global and we pass in this key. So we're checking if CSR, CSRF token is set. And if it isn't set, we want to go ahead and generate a new token. And we're gonna store that within session and the key that we've chosen. So like I said, I'm going to be using the SHA1 function. I'm going to pass micro time into this. That's a Unix timestamp with microseconds. And I'm just going to append on to that random number between 10,000 and 99,999. So obviously feel free to update this. Uh, in this case, it's just an example. Uh, what we want to do now is just grab a to grab that token. So let's grab that so we can locally easily use it within this method. So this key. And now what we want to do is just before we do anything, I'm going to pass it through to our views so we can include it in our form and see that it works. And then what we'll do is implement the actual check when we submit the form. So all we need to do is share this with our views. So we say this app view, I'm gonna append data on. We have an array just in here. I'm gonna pass in CSRF key, like so. That's gonna be a string. And we're gonna pass in the token as well, so we can include that in our form. So the key is just going to be the key that we set in that property at the top of our object. And the token is just gonna be that token. So we now need to include this middleware into our application so we can run it before every request. We've obviously added that hook there. So under uh, wherever you're starting up slim, you're gonna to want to say app add, and then you're going to want to uh, include a new instance of that middleware. So we're gonna say new, code course, middleware, cross site request forgery, middleware, and that's pretty much it. So when we refresh now, nothing's really changed because we're not doing anything. We're not including that token within our form. And even if we were, our middleware isn't checking anything. But we know that these have been shared with our view now. So what we can do is under our form, we can implement a hidden input. The name of this is going to be cross site request forgery key. Like I mentioned earlier, if you change the name of the key for any reason, 
uh, this will automatically update all of your forms and then we have the value which is the actual token itself so CSRF token so when I refresh now we see that key that we set in our class and we see the value of the key and that's obviously going to change with every request so we've got these values now formed but we're not actually checking them at all so even if we were to modify this value here nothing's going to happen we're not checking anything we're not throwing any errors so inside of our middleware then just above here we are going to check the uh, method that uh, we're receiving for submissions so for example post uh, put delete or whatever else and once that's done we'll compare the two so we can obviously just say this app request get or post rather csrf token we'd obviously substitute this key in here but this isn't good enough because it's not protecting against the um, methods that we choose we, we want to have multiple methods so what we can do is we can use this app and we can use request get method so we'll check for the request method in an array of uh, methods that we want to protect against so that sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is we're just going to use in array to check this app request get method so the get method method will return uh, something like post get put delete whatever and here's our array of what we want to check against so for example post put delete we don't want to check against get because it doesn't make sense to we're not actually doing anything there we should just be rendering a view or something uh, but in this case now what's going to happen is if we just write something in here when we hit this we obviously don't see that and when we click that uh, we see that message output so we know that this is working and you can go ahead and test it uh, with any put or de delete requests as well so we need our submitted token and this basically comes from our request so we have post and then this key so let's test this out now let's just kill this and output our submitted token so when i hit that we see that token if for example this was a delete we still get that so it's it looks like it's all, all well and good obviously if this was a get it wouldn't work but we just stick with post for the moment so now we want to throw an error if these don't match and this is pretty straightforward all we want to do is check that the token that we have stored up here doesn't equal the submitted token so if they do not match we have a cross-site request forgery attack potentially and for now I'm just going to throw a new exception nothing interesting here but obviously you can do whatever you want here you could log an issue uh, if you wanted just to uh, show that this has happened entirely up to you but for now i'm just throwing a new exception so let's now check it it works as normal but if we go ahead and modify the value here and we hit that we see our slim application error and we get our message for our exception so that is pretty much how easy it is to add cross-site request forgery protection to your Slim2 application using middleware.